hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel with christmas holidays just around the corner wrapping papers are coming out in all exciting prints so this is the best time to make some christmas earring using wrapping papers and in today's video i will show you a super easy way to do that first of all you should know what type of wrapping paper to buy it needs to be out of paper and a feel like paper. These foily types uh, will not work for this project. I recommend to take the cutter you want to work with to the store and put it on the papers to see how suitable is the print for the earring size. Typically, the smaller the prints are, they will look better on the earrings. So I found uh, this wrapping paper with all these tiny Christmas prints and it looks lovely for this project. First I decide which elements I want to use uh, on my uh, earrings and then I cut a big rectangle around it. Then I flatten a piece of white clay and I'll cut my shapes out using my earring cutter. It is important to use white clay because the prints don't look great on any other colors and I will show you the examples of that later in this review. Now I want to use uh, these two pieces of Christmas decoration on each of my earrings. So I cut them in half and place the ball on one earring and the heart shape on the other one. Just make sure to put it where you want the design to be. Then press the paper gently onto your clay uh, to make sure the paper will not move. Then I will use a hand sanitizing gel, uh, which we all have in our home after the pandemic. Well, uh, my hand sanitizer says without water and soap on it. Uh, so if you can find a similar one or alternatively, you can use an acetone free nail polish remover instead of the sanitizer. So now take a cotton pad and put some of the hand sanitizer or nail polish remover uh, on it. Then swipe it uh, on the papers. Put extra attention to the edges and make sure every inch is wet. Do the same thing for the other one.
then let them aside to dry. Meanwhile, I make another pair uh, with my Christmas sock cutter and this beautiful red and white wrapping paper. I will fast forward the process. I did just the same as before. So now I put all of them uh, with the wrapping paper attached uh, into the oven at 110 degrees Celsius uh, for one hour. Uh, I looked into the oven several times to see if the wrapping paper burns at the temperature but thank god it didn't happen. Uh, but please check your oven at least a couple of times just to be on the safe side. After an hour, I let them completely cool down. So this is what you see after you take them out of the oven. It seems like nothing happened, but just wait to see the polymer clay magic in here. I just take the earrings off my ceramic tile. and soak one in the water a little bit just that uh, the paper comes off easier just look at that a perfect print i'm gonna be honest with you guys removing the paper and revealing the print was really satisfying when i saw the outcome i just had a bit of happy tears in my eyes these techniques are just game changer. Whenever I receive a gift of with a beautiful wrapping paper, it just breaks my heart to throw that paper away. Uh, but imagine that you can turn them into pendants, uh, earrings, bookmarkers, and uh, save that piece of wrapping paper forever. The socks also turned out amazing, even though the background was all red and I had little hope to have a perfect transfer, but this technique just doesn't disappoint. I just want to quickly show you the same technique, um, same everything, same wrapping paper uh, and uh, same hand sanitizer but on the red clay. As you can see the colors are all wrong and uh, lighter colors do not transfer well and the color of the clay is way stronger than the prints. So make sure to use white or 
the lightest color that you have otherwise it will affect the outcome okay after they dry you can see some white residue uh, on the earrings but do not worry uh, this is just the paper and you can scrub them off using your finger or a brush and don't worry your print won't come off if you scrub the earrings Then I inspect the edges and if there is any bit of earrings without the print, I just use my acrylic marker to correct it. As the final step, I use my female glass varnish to varnish my pieces. This step is completely unnecessary, uh, the prints are permanent and they don't need sealing, but if you use acrylic paint uh, like I did, uh, then you need to seal the piece. Plus the colors become uh, brighter when you use a varnish. So here are the final results. Please make sure to like and share the video and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous rest of the day.